How far to the game am I? Uh, not sure. Pretty far. Pretty far. them both out. Okay. Um. Hmm. I believe that robot is flating. Interesting. Hmm. Co finding the open world as bad as the reviews are saying. The open world has fundamental flaws, in my opinion, in from a game design perspective. Yes. That make it a lot less enjoyable than I feel it could be. That's that's what I'll say about the open world. I feel like it was a, a pretty missed opportunity. Can I say what the flaws are? Um, I'll go over it kind of briefly. We've talked about a lot of, a lot about it during it, but basically the way that they did the open world is that it's constantly regenerating and there's no way to kind of crawl through it effectively. They made it so enemies respawn incredibly fast unless you take action against them. There's no real way to shut, shut it down unless you shut down the whole region, um, which involves its own thing. And even then it just comes back later. Um, it's the open world, instead of being like, an interesting thing to progress through becomes more of an annoyance and it there there's no there's no way to permanently clear areas there's no way to um there even basic fights if you're not like sniping all the cameras which there's way too many of in my opinion then it 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 triggers the little bots you can't shut down the bot the the little repair bots hive very effectively so it's just it, <sighs> I feel like honestly, there's there's something to be said about possibly just taking out the respawning enemies element, um, or maybe making it so there was a way to like hack those things to turn respawning enemies on if you need to farm materials. Uh, it's just it's it's a slog instead of it really being something that you want to do. Oh, uh, and and you kind of tie that into the fact that the map system is, is really not great. Um, it just doesn't really it doesn't click. It doesn't click. It's just not super well designed. There's the risk versus reward is is out of whack. It's out of whack. Is the open world optional or avoidable? Yes, you can just kind of drive through it, which I think a lot of people are doing. Um, they're just kind of driving through it. And the game does give you cars to do that. But 
it, it it just doesn't need to be that way. I feel like there was some there's some decisions that they could have made to make it a lot more enjoyable. And um, yeah, like for instance, when you when you hack the towers, you can shut down the generators temporarily. But it would have been great if you could completely shut down the camera network in that same area. So it's like you have a choice to use the the balloons to rope shut down the generators for 20 minutes or completely disable the camera network. Um, that'd be awesome. Or if they made it that you could hack the hives so the repair hives would stop repairing robots. That would be cool. Um, there, there's like all sorts of things they could do to make it a lot more enjoyable that unfortunately they just don't really. Like it, it, everything is just super spammy and respawny and yeah. It, it, it just doesn't feel great. It sucks because the world is pretty interesting. I mean, it is kind of copy paste, just like any open world, but um, it's it's a cool world. I mean, the best part about this game, in my opinion, is the aesthetic and how it all looks and and everything. So, you know, I I would love to be able to permanently crawl through the open world, shutting it down or changing its allegiance to mine, um, and I think that would make it a lot more enjoyable. I think that's the whole point. It's supposed to be an endless stressor. I think that's exactly what they're going for. Yep. I think you're absolutely right. I think the point is that they want you to feel that the pressure's constantly on and that the system's constantly repairing itself. I'm just saying that sucks. Please select the desired I'm saying procedure. I don't like that decision. I don't I don't find that fun. As fun as it could be. Yeah. No, I think that's exactly. Oh, I'm not even gonna be able to use the rail gun? That sucks. So you're telling me that nobody, because this is bugged, in, is this bugged in everyone's playthrough? Ryan says it works for me. Oh, so, so for some people it's working. Graphite says I have like 20 of them. Oh man. Oh, shitty. Damn. What's wrong? Uh, in my entire playthrough, the top tier resource is bugged and I can't loot it. So I can't get any of the end game upgrades. I can't get any of the end game weapons. Yeah, it sucks. It really sucks. <laughs> Just mod it or cheat engine it. If I knew an easy way to put it in my game, I would. Yeah. I don't think there's a console in this game, so I can't just like plop it in. You wanted to play on hardco? I mean, you're not wrong, but I think depriving the player of the end game upgrades is not the best difficulty decision. If that's the case. To help advance gravitational rates, the USSR Academy of Sciences has decided. Training Wait, can I climb over? I guess I can climb over it. Here, hold on. Okay, can I only climb over this one? The shit, man. Uh, okay.
Yeah, and it's gone. That's right. That intended? I don't know. It is now. I can't jump while I'm holding this? Oh, you dick. We've had very bad luck throwing these. Even, even then, I got very mixed luck throwing these. I'm trying to see if there's something you can grab on here. to find more testing grounds. So, what will it be, Major? Increased energy bonus. Unlocks automatic fire mode? Go on. Interesting. Hmm. Hold down the mouse now. It's kind of fun. Please select the desired procedure. Okay. What are we doing here? In a bit. Oh. Um. Okay. Authorization. Couple more of those. Okay. Great. All right. Fading data. 
do, do, do. Yeah, I'll need to see if I can find a mod or something to let us use the, the last tier of this stuff. I definitely, there's so many cool upgrades. Like, I really want to get that one for this weapon that makes the heavy attack be like the spinning saw blade things. You know, we don't, we don't have that, do we? Hold on. We need to get that. Please select the desired procedure. We don't have it. Reverse shot. Polygon one. Uh, M. It's like way back at the beginning. Huh. We're over here. Can we do testing ground eight? Maybe not. Yeah, that seems awesome. Worst shot seems awesome. Your face seems awesome. Oh, uh -oh. hey. Dirty Belly, thank you for all you do and for being a part of a wonderful community. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, there is a cheat to add that stuff. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Masamune. We'll, we'll check that out later, I think. I don't really see any reason not to. I mean, it's, it's pretty clearly a bug. Gasp, Ko is a cheater. Oh yeah, I'm actually a very well-known cheater. Yeah. Yep. That's all I do in my games is cheat, pretty much. It's very transparent of you. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like it's very brave of me to admit that, yeah. Mm -hmm. We do. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, pet story. The trough, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. Now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Can't tell if super sarcastic? Maybe? A little bit? You have my sincerest condolences, Conrad. Me.
Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They'll start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's got to be more to it than that. Okay. Oh, wait, data. Hey, Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists- They took our germs? Free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. You know, if you're trying to go to war with the world, I guess it makes sense. Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Didn't the fact that this place is a secret complex tip you off? You're a little green to be a guard, especially at a hospital. Listen, we're not butchers like those scientists. We're not here to kill people. We just make sure no one runs off. It's fine, really. Fine, chat. It's fine. Really. It's fine. Saharov didn't die, Kamri. Saharov lives. What? Who are you? What are you talking about? I am an assistant professor from AOC. It matters not. Saharov lives. What do you mean, he lives? It was believed Zaharov perished a few years ago in an unfortunate accident. But he did not. I studied the documents, and all of the most revolutionary papers show signs of his involvement. His personal touch, if you like. I worked with him personally and knew his attitude well. Caustic comments, radical methods, unmitigated interruptions. He is most definitely alive. But one question remains. If he is alive and still working, why would somebody hide it? Eh, sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Right now it's hard to tell who's alive and who isn't. He says talking to the dead man. Um, so one thing that's interesting is we currently think that Zaharov may have been killed by that same red stuff that killed Molotov. In which case, 
there's a very good chance that he is getting like his psyche absorbed or something by it. So maybe Molotov was using, if he's the one that killed him or Sessionov, uh, maybe they were using his mind to write those papers. Like, I don't know. Hmm. I'll have to see. Autolysis starts approximately 7 to 10 minutes after death, followed by defecation in 3 to 5 minutes. Rigor mortis sets in 5 to 6 hours, then, let me see, complete decomposition in about 5 years. Sixteen Southpaw, are you a real person? See if he says something in chat. He, he said something that I was like, oh, that's a little weird. He said, finish the prose that he alone would understand, like watching paint dry. He says, when I choose to. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was like, that's interesting. Let me look at his history. And before that, he says, what happened to the classic mallet? And then a week before that, wake me when September ends. In January, okay. And then the week before that, milk at best. And then the week before that, frosted mini wheats beats lucky charms. <laughs> Just kind of like, this is one of the most random chat things I think I've ever read. Um, but no, he just said something in chat, so I guess not. That's that's he actually said something in chat, and I doubt a bot would be able to point out their name in in a video and actually respond to it. So that's kind of hilarious. I'd love to know what you were responding to. <laughs> Because that chat history is amazing. So what you doing? What are you doing? I'm counting. <laughs> counting. Everything has to be thoroughly calculated. Precision matters. Observation in detail is the key to success. Bots are I'm learning. A scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. Thanks Comment. for teaching the bot, though. You know many oh, no. people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own body. Uh... What's the point? You can't even record your observations. What? Oh, shit. You have a point. Sorry, you will help me. Please stay next to me over the entire period of decomposition and keep track of the progress. You will manage. It won't take long. Give or take 535 to 650 days in current conditions. Fine. I'll go get my notepad. Oh, Kotofelkov. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. Kotofelkov. <laughs> Uh, Phoenix, I have no, I, the, the whole, okay. Um, Destiny, Phoenix says, so real question, any, any thoughts to watching all the Destiny lore videos on stream? No, absolutely not. The whole point of my tweet is that I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's, that's the whole point. Yeah, so, no, no, not as just doing that. Swap. Focus. Keep an eye on that incision. Okay, okay. Focus. Shit, pressure on it, now. The polymer wasn't absorbed by the tissue again, so it created a pathological cavity. There are nodules like this all over his body. What do those heartless animals want from people, huh? You may be right, comrades. But that is not your concern. Do your jobs. Private, bring in the next one. Yes, Comrade Colonel. The polymer needs to be absorbed. And if it's not, save whoever you can. And clean this place up. Ooh. Okay. Damn. That was a thing. Uh, when are you playing Wild Hearts? Is there a schedule I can see? Uh, all my Wild Hearts and all my all my uploads, period, get uploaded to my YouTube if you want to check that out. But I'm currently playing Wild Hearts in the Cozy Stream, which is in the evening. So it generally starts between 6 and 6.30 and I play for a couple to a few hours in, in the, the night. Yep. Just found a weapon called the Claw Whip. Claw Knife? 
whatever, and it's awesome. I think I might have found my new main weapon. Maybe. Really fun. What's the game called? Wild Farts? Wild Farts. 